You have officially not been invited to Trisha Paytas' wedding. If you do decide to turn up on the day, you will be faced with a restraining order, just like her number one fan was. A lot of thought went into this Christine Quinn replica wedding. Don't forget to save the date and prepare your tea. Trisha Paytas' super fan is back and better than ever. After having her account removed because she either got sent a lawsuit, a restraining order or both, she has now decided to dedicate her life to being Gabby Hanna's number one fan and is seen replicating Gabby's infamous videos on TikTok. Things I'm doing wrong. So why exactly did Dakota Paytas get a restraining order from Trisha? Formerly known as Dakota Paytas, who now identifies as Dakota Hanna on TikTok, served us with the tea about everything that happened. So, turns out you were right. It's true. I got served. I hope you guys are happy. I got served a slice of pizza. There was a 50-50 argument online when Dakota's account got taken down because people were saying, poor her, Trish is evil. And then the other half of fans were saying, um, yeah, Dakota was definitely acting crazy. Like, no wonder Trisha got a restraining order. Here's some deleted videos Dakota had made which caused her to get a lawsuit from Trisha. I can't make this stuff up, so the guy that creates all of Trisha Paytas' outfits for like frenemies and everything like that, he messaged me and said thanks for following me Dakota and that he appreciates me. <laughs> so um, I asked around to a few people that are going to the wedding and they gave me the details and they said that Trisha hasn't mentioned anything about uninviting me. She did ask for my legal name and address to put me on the guest list. so. I'm just assuming I'm still on. They gave me the information, so I booked a flight from December 10th. I land in LAX, and I'm staying until the 14th. I think it's that Tuesday. I'm going just to see if I'm on the guest list. So, <laughs> Michael, if you want to create me an outfit, thank you for watching, and thank you for liking Dakota Paytas. <laughs> I think we have a serious problem. I don't think the people in my comments know which Paytas is which Paytas because they're getting me mixed up. They think that I don't follow through with the things I say. They're saying that I'm not actually going to Trisha Paytas' wedding when in reality, I'm not, I'm not on the same wavelength as you because I was invited. I was never uninvited. If I was invited somewhere, they would have told me that I was uninvited if she didn't want me there. Trisha would have told me. She never said that in her last message to me. Therefore, I'm still on the list if you ask me. That's why I purchased the plane ticket. It was $273 that is non-refundable. American Airlines, I can't get that money back. I can't. I bought it through booking.com. It was like a third party. So I... You're only just me. So moving on from this, Trisha recently posted a video called Going Broke, Desperate for Views, something I'm sure we're not shocked about. This isn't news to her fans, however her comment section was going off at her because she's acting like she's broker than she really is. Her version of broke is making less than 6 figures a month, won't be seeing her in any soup kitchen soon. Trisha, you're not broke, you not having $200,000 to spend on more pointless luxury items does not make you broke, try living on $1200 a month to pay all your bills and live on. Spending 200 grand on a music video, lives in a mansion, has several cars worth more than a lot of homes, eats out all the time, shops all the time, makes extravagant wedding invitations and so on. Nobody feels bad and nobody sees you as poor Trisha. Desperate, yes. Trisha's version of broke, 20 grand. My version of broke, 20 dollars. I've watched and been with you for years Trish. I was feeling bad for real, but then I remember that there are levels of broke. Your broke is totally different than mine. My water heater just went out, bought a new one and I'm thankful I was able to do that, but that literally means no gifts this year. Hope you get through your hard times though, I still know that so many have it way worse. It was okay for Trish to hate watch and pile in on people's demise, but all of a sudden when it's happening to her, it's wrong. You're not broke, you're privileged, and you are now finally realising that your impulsive actions will hurt you. You're not responsible, you're not broke, you had fans when you were yourself, now it's just a big act or maybe it all 
school was. Get a financial advisor and stop being dumb. Didn't you just buy a $10,000 crystal tiger? It's gotten to the point where Trisha is officially profiting off one of her mental breakdowns, the very thing she used to call people out for doing. I think a while ago she was calling out an influencer for doing a sponsorship with BetterHelp, correct me if I'm wrong, and now she's out here selling NFTs of herself for four grand. Absolutely ridiculous. Someone screenshotted her NFT and posted it to Reddit. Scotty can't sing about antidepressants, but she can sell a picture of herself at a mental hospital for four grand. Also, who takes a selfie when they are apparently over or whatever. Wonder if this is the picture she sent Jason to guilt him. So yeah, she's charging one Ethereum coin for this picture. I mean, I don't know if it's sold yet, but according to a frenemies podcast she did back in the day with Ethan, she claimed that she had actually been successful in selling NFTs of herself. Um, I noticed you, you put NFTs and you listed this one. <laughs> NFTs. I don't think my audience gets it. Well, I just noticed because you listed this picture of you eating spaghetti for 100 ETH Ethereum, <laughs> which is equal to about $250,000. Uh you think someone will buy it? I was like, I was like, well. So yeah, are we really surprised she's out here selling NFTs of her mental breakdown? Any chance at all she can get to make a few extra dollars and she's happy. She currently thinks she's broke because she's making less than six figures a month now since being cancelled. According to this former fan, they claim Trisha was scamming her fans. Hey guys. So Trisha Paytas updated her OpenSea page. She is no longer selling the stupid JPEG of her eating spaghetti for a hundred Ethereum token. She changed it to one. And she is no longer selling 25 of the glamour shot or glamour portrait JPEGs for one Ethereum token. You can only buy one for one Ethereum token. Hmm. We're saving the world one horrible NFT at a time. Maybe she'll fix her tits. We'll see. Now, just when you thought Trisha couldn't get any worse, she uploaded a clickbait video just in time for that December YouTube AdSense money, like everyone predicted she would. And she did her fans dirty. She tricked us all into thinking that she got cheated on less than a month before her wedding. There's been rumors recently, as we all know, because someone on her live stream said that their friend saw Moses on Tinder in the area. And Trisha and Moses addressed this scandal, saying that it was all lies. Moses is the king of Tinder. So the rumor is going around that you were on Tinder, somewhere in Inglewood. Right? Yeah, yeah, right. I don't even know if mine, I think you have to like delete the profile. Right, we did that. Did we? I like don't remember. Back in the old times. But I guess anyone could just make up anything. It's just so crazy because it's like we are literally together all the time, so it's like. But now Trisha posted this video trolling us all into thinking that she was going to have a breakdown about Moses cheating, but instead she went off topic completely and discussed some celebrities getting cheated on. So anyway, what are your thoughts on Trisha at the moment? Let me know in the comments.